aren't you? Paimon felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Subzeru's festival. And... Dunyarzad, did you save her? It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm... How about by the Traveler's favorite bench? No time to lose. On the last day of the Subzerus festival, I left the city and saw what the traveler had described. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long though. It will return to its original dream, where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible, but it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. So it looks like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end! And not a moment too soon! Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Hmm. <sighs> I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. Alright. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. At the Avidia Forest, there was this incense that made the Traveler fall unconscious and dream of a huge tree in a red sky. You also heard someone's voice, right? It said world and forget me. Yeah, so you do know! We've been wanting to ask you what that was about and if the red sky was related to Conria. Hmm... It seems like the Traveler established a connection to Ermensoul. That was a message left by Greater Lord Rukadavata's residual consciousness in Ermensoul. Perhaps her last memory before she died. As you two probably know, Greater Lord Rukadavata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from Greater Lord Rukadavata? We thought it was from the Scarlet King! The Scarlet King? That god who died even longer ago? Uh, some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? <sighs> I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord Rukadavata's residual consciousness in Ermensoul seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned the Academia about this many times, but people still keep falling victim to it. But I believe this is the key to saving Ermensoul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermensoul? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermensoul is sick! Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. The 
the Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Erminsoul. This is the only one left. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Erminsoul's fate, as well as Tavak's. To be accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. Uh, how did you do that? Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousnesses? Theoretically, I can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha Terminal, my consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. I've always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I just borrow this Bionic Snizhnayan puppet. Uh... Oh, hold on! Did we just learn some deep dark secret? So Catherine is... No... Wonder Paimon felt something was off about her. What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Suristana? That story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Samaru. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristana ostensibly for the sake of protecting me, but I've hardly heard from them since. However, I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata instead of me, a symbol of her passing. So, the sages basically put their new Archon under house arrest? How dare they! Uh, why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. And I... I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, the Academia is also more proficient at governing this country. My existence has little meaning. Yeah, you gotta Believers, just look at the Sub Zero's festival. Everyone who showed up truly loves you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. Trying to find a way to save Ermin Soul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Every once in a while, I will also take up the duties of the God of Wisdom, and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. There has never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path, and what they hope to achieve. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, if the Traveler hadn't broken the Subzeru Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seem to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. Oh, that reminds Paimon! In Gundarvaville, there was a sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. You mean how the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time! No one's noticed something's up? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the Sage's misdirection. 
Misdirection? The sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru. Even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Besides, Greater Lord Rukadevata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> anyway, the perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the Sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project, on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara, in the immediate future. Go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Hmm? Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? I... Maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh... We happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Thank you. <laughs>